Yo ho my hearties and welcome back to another video. My name is Captain Pineapple and we are back for another episode of the Minecraft Survival Series. I have no idea what episode number this is because I didn't check, but today we are going to carry on with the pyramid, but this time we're not really going to be building and we're more going to be digging. And I say that because I want to now dig sort of where the main part of the base is going to be. So it's going to be all under the ground in the center of the pyramid. And that's why I have that little um, hole down there. So all of that needs to be dug even deeper and eventually we can set up a base down here, but this is nowhere near deep enough. In fact, I need to go about nine blocks deep, I think. So that's one, two, three, four. Then we need to go another five and then another one down for the floor. Uh, I do think we have another newspaper if Dave's Newspaper Incorporated has been good. So, what does it say this time? Last episode, construction resumed on the pyramid and a trick-or-treater was charged five pounds and twenty pence for an iron sword they received. Interesting, is pyramid spelt like that? I have no idea if pyramid's actually spelt like that. Dave, maybe check your spelling. Special shout out to Chilla Panda. I also know who that guy is. Um, they have their own channel. I'm, I'm not sure how often they upload now, but they're a good friend. I've known them for quite a few years. But anyway, I want to kind of start on this digging already because it's going to take a long time. And the sooner it's done, the sooner we can actually start building, which is where the fun part comes in. Although we are going to need a shovel. Yeah, let's go and get a shovel. And then we can start digging, because there's going to be a lot of sand that's probably going to fall down there as well. Chefy Chefy's home, as always. And there we go, sticks. These chests are really unorganized, so I really need to fix that. But to be honest, I don't want to do a storage system until that um, that area is done, because that's where the main base is going to be. So I'm not going to build a storage system up here, because I'm never going to use it. Is it night time? I slept earlier so that I could start in the daytime, and look, it's already going down to night. Well then, I guess we're going to sleep. What an amazing sunset. Anyway, let's sleep. <laughs> Aww. My cat's sleeping on the shelf. He started to like doing that. Actually, I'm, I'm going to tell a story. Um, Shut up, tablet. <laughs> the tablet just went off. Um, I'm going to tell a funny little story. Um, basically, my cat started sleeping on the shelf in my room where I record. And the other day, he was just sitting there, and then suddenly he fell off. And the shelf is right next to the wall, but, like, there is a small gap between the wall and the shelf. And he fell down the back of it. Don't worry, he is not hurt. He's completely fine. But it was quite funny watching him, although I did um, check if he was okay first, because I, I don't want my cat hurt. He's very cute. Anyway, uh, we should probably start this time lapse, shouldn't we? So I will see you in a minute. Bye bye.
Okay, so, all of this is dug out, but while I was digging that out, halfway through, I realised that guy, like, he, he's just there, he's vibing, he's completely fine, and there's a little cross down there, and I keep saying and, there's a little cross down there, and that's where I nearly fell down the ladder. That's where I want to dig this small area out. And have I done this right? No, 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 this is correct. And I want to dig out two lines here and fill those in with sand. Then if we get some sandstone, and put it around here then we can make a nice sort of sealed off area we need some half slabs but first we need to sleep actually so we need some half slabs and then we need to get a bucket and I'm pretty sure I have a bucket but I might not so I hope I do, because I don't want to waste more iron on a bucket when I should already have one. So, the pyramid is coming along nicely. We've got a lot of work done on it now. And I have an extra bit of iron to go in there. And do I have a bucket anywhere? No. No. Oh. Guess I'm making a new bucket. So, let's do that, okay. I could make a, another bucket, that would make it slightly easier, but I can't be bothered to do that right now. So, we need some water, and can I jump over here? Uh, I'm probably going to die from this. Oh no, I can just go down there. So, we come down here, I forgot to make the slabs. And we put some water there, and we need another bit, and some slabs. Right, let's go and get some slabs. Uh, but you can instantly tell what's going there, then. It's going to be a nice little bit of water. And once the top of the pyramid is done, we've got an even cooler bit to add in there. And I'm actually going to take that sandstone, I'm going to take this sandstone because in a second we're going to hop into another time lapse and I need chisel sand and stone for it. So you can tell what's happening. It's in fact very obvious what's happening now. So I need water down the middle and once the pyramid is tall enough and um, it's reached the top I want to add a small little uh, waterfall coming down on each side and the way this is going to work is um, the person who whenever you reach the end of the mazes and stuff you're going to need to jump down through the center of the pyramid which is here and um, land in this water and there's going to be a hallway there and a room here and that's going to be where the main base is so I need a massive hallway going all down here just there and then I need to carve out a fairly small room on the opposite side which is where I'm going to put things like the bed and everything like that. But yeah, I think this is a nice little water feature. We might put a lantern in that water right there so that we can light it up. But I don't think that's necessary yet. So I think it's time to head straight into another time lapse.
Okay, guys, I've ended the time lapse quickly because something just happened. There is a creeper inside my pyramid. There's a creeper somewhere in there. And for some reason, it didn't explode. But also, I am starving. So I need to harvest this wheat from a little farm I made. It's quite cute. And... I need to go back in there and try and kill that creeper without it exploding. Which is probably going to be more of a challenge than it should be. Because if you know me and you've seen these videos, you will know that there have been a lot of craters around here. And I've only filled them in just like this episode. Okay, right. We have enough bits for... We have enough wheat for four bits of bread, which is good. And I've got another bit of bone meal. Another one just spawned, are you kidding me? I get a lot of those wandering traders everywhere. Alright, let's go and put this in the compost area as well. And what's this dude selling? Slime balls, horn coral, wheat seed. This dude's selling wheat seeds when I'm literally holding them in my hand. Brown dye could actually be useful. Uh, spruce sapling, I think I know where there are some spruce things. And pods all you can get if you have spruce. So, none of that's really useful. I just heard a drowned, I think. Or was that, like, the villager drinking milk or something to remove the effect? Right, let's get that bread. And I can put the rest of this back in the composter. Okay, so... We need to go and find this creeper. And I don't know where it's gonna be. I don't know if it's weak at all or anything like that. But it's somewhere... Um, I I do have to wonder where. Where is the creeper though? Like, and also, where did it spawn? Oh, uh, maybe it came from down there and like wandered in somehow. I don't know. But it's worrying because there there shouldn't be a creeper down here. Okay, we're here. And do we need a bit more sandstone on this level? I think we do. Uh, one, two... No, that's four tall. Oh, yeah. Okay, chiseled sandstone on this level. Okay. I don't know where the creeper is, but let's just go straight back into the time-lapse then. What does this dude sell? Sea pickles. Slime ball again. Blue orchid. Asia. Asia blue? I have no idea how to say that. Brown dye and more podzel. So, pretty much the same stuff as the other one. Usually they have, like, way different trades, but okay, we're getting a lot of similar ones. In fact,. These guys do look like they belong in the desert, don't they? Like, they kind of look like what you would imagine for, like, I don't know, ancient Egypt kind of wealthy-ish person. I need three more bits of chiseled sandstone. Are you kidding me? Where'd he go? Oh, he's down there. He he's a good dude. Might keep him down here, maybe. Uh, yeah, actually... Let's try and keep him down here, but, um, he needs a name. What, what should we call him? I'm thinking Harold the Not-So-Helpful Trader. I don't know why. Just Harold the Not-So-Helpful Trader. I may have just heard that cre No? Okay, I didn't hear the creeper. Oh, we've still got these llamas tied up here, haven't we? And I don't have any cut sandstone. Or chiseled sandstone. Okay, uh, where's the stone cutter? One, two, three, four. Wait, no, it was just three. 
One, two, three. Chiseled. Boom. So, you can tell what we're sort of doing now with the walls here. So, it's basically just... Ow. It's... Um, chiseled sandstone, then four normal sandstone, then chiseled sandstone again. And it's also going to need to go around the top as well. And then, once all of that's done... Um... Oh, wait, we're going to need, um... Smooth sandstone down these bits here. Uh... And then... I have to find something else to maybe at. Ow! Okay, right, and I don't really have anything else to say, so back to the time lapse. Okay, there's a creeper down there. That nearly blew up, and that would have caused another cave-in in this area. There are way too many cave-ins here. There's a lot of floating sand, it seems. Okay, so, that's all built, and I think it looks pretty decent. And it does need the rest of the decoration. Until that decoration's in here, it won't exactly look, um, perfect. But this is kind of all the time I have for this video. So, I am going to have to end it here, unfortunately. I do hope you have enjoyed. And next episode, I think I'm going to start digging that way. And also maybe dig out the room that needs to go here. But I don't think I will, because I need that ladder here for a while. And I will also add some decoration down on these walls. And eventually, once the rest of the pyramid's built, we can decorate down there. And we can set up the rest of our base in here. And once all of that's done, we will finish with the pyramid and start on building a town around the pyramid which I'm quite excited for, and I don't actually know much about building Egyptian town ones, really. Like, I'm not very good at an Egyptian sort of style town. I've done a lot of pyramids in the past. Like, I, I made pyramids just for fun, like, complete with traps and everything. But I don't know much about Egyptian architecture, really. So, I really do hope you have enjoyed it. I certainly have. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!